Hey everyone, so I just got the LG G5 on Verizon yesterday, and before I go ahead and install the apps and everything, I wanted to give you guys a brief look at what the phone looks like when you first get it, uh, all the pre-installed apps and where that's on it. And before I do that, I want to show you how you can uh, activate the app drawer because you actually don't have the app drawer on here when you first get it. So in order to do that, you just go into your settings and then scroll down to home screen. And then at the top here you see uh, select home, so press on that. And then check off easy home. So now you notice that the app drawer is here. Now I'm gonna set it back to the default. So again, just going back into it, go to the home screen and going to turn it back to home. All right, so now just to look at everything that you have when you first get the phone. So you notice that the easy, or you'll notice that the always on display is on right now. Uh, you have to activate that in the settings, but that is a new feature on here and it takes up a very small percent of the battery. So you can always look at your phone if it's on your desk, for example, and you can see what time it is and if you have new messages. Now for the box screen. So you got a pretty nice design on there. Of course, you can change that. Then you have Android Marshmallow. You have all the notifications and everything on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Now you do have a fingerprint scanner on the back. I haven't set that up yet. Uh, oh, and also you have the Verizon logo. So unfortunately, you do have the logo, but it's not that big. Uh, just comparison versus the S7 Edge. So actually, maybe a little bit smaller, but yeah. So you do have the logo on the back. Nothing on the front. And so now for the home screen. So you got your standard weather app at the top, the Google Now. And then some uh, app drawers at the bottom. So you got your Google app drawer, uh, Play Store, email, calendar. All right. And then, of course, you do got a bunch of Verizon apps. So nine different ones. LG pre-installed apps. Uh, I've already checked and most of this you can't uninstall, unfortunately. So you got your tools, uh, the five different Amazon apps. All right, and then for the most part, just some games and things like that. So now just look at the interface. Uh, here's the dial tone. Verizon Messages is pre-installed by default. Of course, you can change that. Uh, the camera interface. And then here's the default album. So yeah, guys, in terms of pre-installed apps, I think it's pretty standard for Verizon phones. Uh, pretty in line with what we saw at the S7 Edge. But I just want to give you guys a brief look at how much pre-installed apps there are. Uh, and also a quick look at the interface for those of you who are new to LG. So I'm going to have a lot of videos comparing it versus the other phones. Uh, here's a brief look versus the S7 Edge. And I'm going to have a more in-depth video coming out shortly. I'm uh, going to give all my day one impressions of it. Also going to be talking about how it compares versus the S7 Edge and of course the Z5. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and let me know in the comment section if there's any types of videos you want to see. Uh, any re specific requests for the LG G5 or any of the other phones I have. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.